In this video, we're going to take a look at using HTML5 to add audio to an Animate project. Now, the first step in the process, of course, is to publish your project. So I'm going to go to File, Publish Settings. I'm going to publish to the web, and it's going to tell me there's a target directory that it's going to make. It's going to create a folder called Publish, and there will be another folder called Web, and all the files will be in there. And I'm going to use the, a Google Chrome frame for Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8. And I'm not going to host uh, any files on uh, an Adobe CD, nor am I going to publish content to static HTML. For those of you that uh, use SEOs, publishing content to static HTML is something you might want to consider. Now, when I'm ready to publish, I don't click Save. I actually click Publish. And the file is now published. And if I pop over to my Finder, you can see that there is a Publish folder. And there's the web folder, and there are all the files I need except for one. You may have noticed there's no audio file in here, so just be aware of that one. So I'm going to copy the audio file into the web folder. And now what we've got inside are the MP3 and OGG versions. All right, now to add the HTML5 audio code, you're going to have to use a code editor. You can use Dreamweaver, whatever. You can even use Notepad for that matter. I'm going to be using Edge Code CC. And I can uh, close this and I'll just show you how you get to it. When it opens up, it's kind of blank, so it's File, Open. And then I'm just going to navigate over to my Publish folder. There's the Web folder. There's my audio. And I want the Voodoo HTML file. Click Open. And there it is. Now, where you're going to add the audio code is right here. And this, there's one thing I just love about working with Edge Code. So the first thing I want to do is add in the audio tag. And you notice it auto-completes the tag for me. This is a good thing. And we want this thing to play automatically, so we're going to use autoplay. So that's done. And now what we need to do is identify where the audio is coming from. So we're going to add the source tag. Source src equals. Now this is what I'm loving about this application. There's the audio file. And there's the mp3 file. And we should really give it a MIME type. So type equals audio forward slash MPEG. Now notice that you have to use the MPEG MIME type, not the MP3. Just be aware of that one. OK, let's uh, accommodate the uh, other browsers. And I forgot to close off the tag there. So let's uh, close that off. There we go. And we're just going to do the same thing here. So source src equals audio miles aug. Notice it closes off the quotes for me. Type equals quotation mark audio forward slash ogg close the quotation marks, and close off the tag, and we are good to go. I'm using autoplay here. Now, there is a preload option here, but if you've got uh, autoplay selected, uh, the preloading will be ignored, so just forget about it. All right, let's uh, save the file, Command or Control S, and you can hear it playing in the background, and let's just reload this. And there's that fade out. So there you go. There's uh, how you can add the HTML5 code directly into the HTML generated by Edge Animate. Not that hard to do. In the next example, we'll take a look at using buzz.js. I'll see you there.